Hi, I'm Daniel from Configurative. Today I'm going to show you how the Configurative Presentation Manager makes it dead easy to put together a really great presentation. OK, let's get started. Configurative opens with the most recent presentation pre-selected. It always bothers me that audiences see you open PowerPoint, then choose a presentation. The first slide your audience should see is your title slide, but if you accidentally let them see the startup, at least this way they don't get to see every presentation you've made to their competitors. I could launch the presentation from here, but right now I want to get into the presentation manager. This is the main presentation manager screen. Uh, over here you can see the pre-built fixed modules. We've built these for the client as ready-made, consistently presented elements of their business. Clicking on a module shows me a thumbnail view, or I can right-click it to get more options. There'd usually be more modules than this, but we've removed any potentially sensitive information. These are the modules in use in this presentation. Uh, I can move them around, add or remove modules with a couple of mouse clicks. And down here are my custom modules. They're modules that clients build for themselves for specific purposes, and I'll talk about them in a separate video. Right, let's begin a new presentation. I click the New Presentation button and here we go. I'll start with this module. TNT Fashion Group's business is all about getting the right item to the right place at the right time, so it's a good place to start. I simply drag the module over to the right hand panel. I can add modules by dragging, double clicking or using this Add Module button at the top. Or I can right click and select the Add option. We've worked hard to make Configurative intuitive. OK, I've just decided to add a title screen at the start and I want to use this graphic. I could just add it at the end, then move it up to position 1, but that could be tedious in a long presentation. I'll remove it and do it a different way. I'll click the point in the presentation at which I want to insert the module. Now when I drag, the system asks me whether I want the new module to go before or after the module I selected. As I want this to be the title screen, I'll click Before. Now let's add a customer logo to our presentation. I click the logo box here. Here's the logo selection box. I'll click to choose a file. Um, for this demo, I'm going to use a configurative logo. You can see that it's automatically scaled to fit the presentation. I'm adding a drop shadow to make the logo stand out. And that's my presentation ready to roll. I'll give it a title and a few other details to help me identify this presentation later. All this information is searchable which will be useful in a few months time when I, I can't remember which presentation had that great bit in it that I want to use again. These keywords will help a lot. I can type anything I want in here to help me and my colleagues find stuff in the future. OK, I'll save my masterpiece and let's see how it looks. You can see I've put together an impressive presentation in less time than it takes to explain how to do it. In the next video we're going to show you how easy it is to make a custom module. Configurative makes it that simple.